shampoo and conditioner oh. in our brand new courtyard by Marriott Hotel. Mm -hmm. We left Stank at the Airbnb. He's sleeping it off. So we're also we're in Utica. This looks really weird because I'm on an eggshell wall and I feel like I'm in some weird uh, model shoot. I don't know for tangerine flavored something. But um, we came to Utica because my friend who owns the tattoo shop that I guest spotted in owns another shop called Big Top and I wanted to see it. One cool thing about being a tattooer and having like good tattoo friends, you get to see all their cool shops and their cool art and it's like, it's cool. Also, Detroit, Michigan people, my friend, you guys have given me a great time. Pop-up was very mellow, but also very enjoyable. You guys have given me a lot of suggestions on food and they've pretty much all been hits. But this one here, this one here tonight, guys, I have to talk to you about for a second. Brought a lot of it home because I didn't really love it at the restaurant. I wasn't really hungry either. Oh, labeling only on one side of the bag. Hold on. Slow's barbecue. Now, it's not the worst barbecue in the world. I come from someone who's kind of come from the barbecue. Yeah, let's preface. I come from the barbecue capital of the world, which is North Carolina. It's not Texas. It's not Tennessee. It's not St. Louis. It's motherfucking North Kekalaka. So, the barbecue, it's okay. It was alright. Not amazing. I didn't think the sides were amazing either. Alex really liked the macaroni and cheese. We're gonna do courtyard things, like go smoke weed, go to bed, and sleep in. And then try to find a suitcase big enough for all the leftover merch, which should be pretty interesting as well. We'll see what happens tomorrow, but good night and good luck. We have a dilemma. We have a lot of t-shirts and not enough ways to get them home. And we have to check out in the hotel within an hour. All you want, find some way to go. I could be the light that you need. You could be the company. Feel the sand under. I feed some monkeys. Territory. We go walking down. packed up the car. We got two suitcases and we still have a box as well. We are now flying home with six bags. Alex is aggravated with me. Why am I aggravated with you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not and, aggravated uh, with him. He's lying. Yeah, we gotta go basically. Oh, and I think the Turo guys suck. I'm basically telling him we're dropping the Turo at the airport and he's gonna have to deal with it. We just gotta get some tape and we're good to go. There's a Valero right there. Do you want me to run over there and see if they have tape? I'm the master of my own home, which I defend. Don't want to let go and fall again Oh, life just a winding road, so pretend Build these temples We're in Houston on a delayed ass fucking flight Delayed four hours getting here So now we're walking down to our bullshit gate to see if they're gonna delay this next flight Or if we're staying in Houston I'm sort of torn, I don't want to do either But it is what it is even though it's not what it is because I'm just bitching about it and Alex doesn't like that I'm bitching about it But I'm bitching about it because that's where we are. That's where we are right now in reality. Fuck the airport today What the fuck is this New Balance box in here? What the fuck? I've got you We got you Good morning. 
The reason that I'm so hungry <laughs> earlier and I was really grumpy is partially because I was hungry. But I think I really just wanted Korean barbecue. So I was just super upset and boycotting. I almost stayed in Houston and <laughs> Alex back home. That didn't happen. So I'm glad I'm home. And Alex is very loving. Now we're gonna go get Jerusalem. Tried to feed you pizza. And I refused to eat it. When I walked away, oh, we're dark. So when I walked away, uh, from her because we were arguing. She gave the pizza away to the family sitting across from us. I had already eaten a very <laughs> delicious sandwich from the same spot. I just wanted to fucking, I expected the fucking flight to get canceled. You left that whole entire $8 San Pellegrino to behind too. Oh, you bought that? Yeah, I bought uh, that. Um, no, they gave me Pellegrino. I didn't realize it was Pellegrino, I guess. I was so angry. I didn't realize it even had bubbles. That's how mad I was. I Fuck yeah, eh? No worries, eh? Hey, no worries. Hakuna Matata. Is that a Canadian phrase? All nice. right, look at this. Oh, we got we got some work. Oh, I know it. To address the fact that you need to admit how fucking hard it is to vlog and do another job while you're traveling. Because, hold on, no, 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 don't turn to yourself yet, sir. We haven't seen each other in like two weeks. I got a lot for you. You, sir, months ago, rewind back to the old fucking house. I wish I had a clip I could fucking just jump to. I can fucking do all this from the road and vlog, edit video, I can do all this shit. You sent me footage that was like non-clips. Six of them were you picking up the camera Going, we're in Edmonton. I need people to know it's not like I was like, I don't feel like editing Edmonton. I don't feel like editing Montreal. That was it. That, that was, was all the footage. I think the project managing end was done pretty successfully. Thank I mean, you, Brandy. And I, as a team, held it down. The vlogging, I definitely, I gotta figure out a little bit better of a system. I don't know. It's gonna get better next time. You're gonna see. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna prove like it. D minus. I'm gonna, I'm vlogging. gonna prove it. It was just a nice to. Be right. I mean, I'm right a lot, but it was nice to see it in real life. The guy's like, all right. Oh, I'm loud. Hi, Good what to up? see you. How are you? How was Canada? Oh, it was good. Fucking yeah, eh? So we have chocolate checks on our rider. You know the cereal? Chocolate checks. The rider is just the bus? The rider, no, the rider is the thing. I'm always yelling. Roll a joint first, then I can calm down. I'm wildin'. Hold on, we'll be right back. So I'm gonna tell you about my ultimate troll, and I don't even know if it'll be that funny, like not. It's one of those things, maybe if you're not there, it's not funny. What's up with your boy Kodak? Fuck your troll story. Your boy Kodak, first off, tweeted a fucking spoiler for a movie that just came out. Like, what is I saw White Boy Rick. That's what it is. Oh, that's it. Yes. It's not even that good. But didn't it just come out? Yes. Yeah, I saw it the day it came out. So he spoiled the whole shit. <laughs> it's horrible. I was like, what the fuck? He's like, XXX Tentacion talks to me still. Boy is tripping. I saw that. that. fucking Sherm. That's what's going yeah. on. I've seen all the different bottle of water. I want to do a new thing where I order different bottle of waters from all over the world. Try different ones, different sparkling waters. See all these options? That's the only one Rich Robinson from the, uh, this? Black Crows, that Mountain Valley. He only drinks only that, drink and he one. only drinks out of glass bottles. Glass bottles, same. Yeah. I don't really fuck with. We'll go with the Black Crow edition today. Nice. All right, Brandy wants the car as clean when she gave it to me as when I returned it as Good well. Good fucking luck, girl! Hey, wait till she sees the house. It's gonna be a rough one. The house was so nice when I came home. You don't expect it to look like this. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Nine days, and then, and then I'm leaving like a day or two after she gets back. Back. Or while we may cross paths, I don't even know. See your wife sometime. Yeah, I, I hit her up it. on her birthday. I was like, well, when we're all in the same place at the same time, we should go out to dinner. Yeah, I don't know when the fuck that's gonna be. Could have been last night, but I got too tired. Yep, I waited up for you. Here's my ultimate troll. All right, so for those people who don't know, a rider, your list of stuff that you want in the. There's always jokes about bands having these extreme. Oh, on the rider, we have chocolate checks. Everybody loves eating chocolate checks as a snack. It's a popular ride. number one item. If the rider was going to an island. Chocolate checks is number one. Yes, yeah. got it. It's important. One night we're on the bus. Me, the bass player Zach, uh, the lighting guy. We call him Greek. He's coming with the cereal boxes, and I go, dude, where are you going with those? It's near the end of the tour. We have a ton of extra food on the bus. You know, the riders coming tomorrow. I'm gonna give 
these cereal to the opening band. It's really nice of you, but I wouldn't give the chocolate checks away because dudes love that shit. You know, someone's gonna go looking for it tomorrow. And then even Zach, the bass player, is like, yeah, bro, don't give the chocolate checks away. Somebody's gonna get pissed. He runs off the fucking bus and gives the chocolate checks away. Oh, no. Next day, Josh and Travis are on the bus. They open the thing. Hey, dude, where's the chocolate checks? And I'm like, well, ironically enough, Greek took it last night, told him that you guys were gonna be looking for it, and he said, don't worry about it. We have enough cereal. Are you fucking kidding me? This is where the real trolling begins. Greek's downstairs at the end of a show, and he gets a, a text from, like, the head manager saying, dude, the light show was amazing tonight. Great job. And he's gloating. He's like, hey, the manager texted me. I hear him saying that. I run on the bus. I go, Travis, text the manager to ask him where the fuck the chocolate checks are. <laughs> <laughs> he's running around celebrating. Yo, the best light show yet. This, that. I come down five minutes later. He's pacing with his head down and it, just looking at his phone. Are you all right, dude? And he's like, yeah, no, no. I'm like, you know the guys are only fucking with you about the chocolate checks. No, they're not. The manager just fucking hit me, dude. I don't know what to fucking do. This is bullshit. I'm, you know, there's enough fucking, and then he starts getting mad. He's like, you waste so much food on the bus. How much cold cuts do you waste every week? Now he's just like raging. So I'm like, dude, the manager shit was a joke. It's all good. The next morning, and he tells the guys, he goes, I'm going to ask for it back. Of course, our band guys are like, don't ask for it back. You're going to make us look like yeah, fucking yeah. assholes. Like, we don't really care. So then he asked for it back. <laughs> God, what is wrong with this dude? I take it even further, and I go to the lead singer of the opening band, who doesn't even know the checks were even on his bus, or last. explain this whole story to the whole back. troll. They hadn't even opened it. It's the last night, dude, before the last song of the opening act, Protest the Hero, who's pretty big in Canada. You know, and there's a lot of people there into it. I tell the singer to do this. He stops the show with one song left. He usually does a little speech mm -hmm. in between. Now, Greek is also the lighting guy for them, so Greek's out there watching. He goes, I gotta tell you guys, you know, it's been been a great tour it's been great i want to thank Koei. blah blah he goes but you know today didn't start out as good as my normal every day for a show i have a nice bowl of cereal and i reach for my chocolate checks today and they're missed i don't know if a guy in my band took them i'm gonna know haunt him forever now yeah he came up to me after the show he's like you got it dog i can't i can't beat you like you, <laughs> he killed me yeah. you told me not to take the chocolate checks i just should have listened <laughs> yeah pulled up to la fiesta it's been quite a while we've both been on some serious dietary restrictions i ate like shit all week in detroit well i don't know like i ate off diet. I least. was. I don't know what Canadian food is like. A myth. But you ran a lot. But I did run. A I didn't lot work still. out one time. Yeah. We're gonna finish this up with La Fiesta and then get back on routine tomorrow. At least I'm speaking for myself. No, I am anyway, back on it. Running. Yeah. La Fiesta right now. We're not gonna take the camera. We're just gonna enjoy our lunch. I saw a lot of art while I was gone, so I'm inspired. And I, I just, went and bought this canvas. I got this canvas. I got a bunch. I just balled out. It's been like 700 bucks. Ern's out here freaking out because he doesn't think we can just do this. At least when this smashes somebody's car behind us, we have this video for the insurance company. Adjusting the Uber right now, so when this thing flies off. Got this dog. How far are we from the house? Six miles. Ooh. Let's go, doggy. Don't go too fast. We don't want to lose her. I can feel it pulling against me. How many blocks we got? Wait, are you going the right way? We're only doing 20. Feels like a lot faster on my bicep right now. Nothing to see here. Picasso moving his paintings through the street. I move my paintings to the streets, dog. No seat belt. The paint strapped to the roof. No seat belts, but the street felt. Dude's trying to cut us off, trying to get the value of the paint in his insurance claim. All right, all right, we're doing good. You want to take an Uber? We got this. It's another day in the life. My man's getting it in over there. You got those big papers, right? What? The other paper? Wait. The big board and shit? Yeah, they're right here. No, dog. No, he never brought it. I don't think we should go back. You can take their scissors I stole back. Alright, let's get scissors. Uh, what? Are you, what? Shit. You just stole their scissors? I just told you, you can take them back when you go. So, Ern ran back to the art store. I just had to get into it with waste management because the recycling still hasn't been picked up. It's been fucking three months. There's bottles broken in the alley. Someone got a flat tire. I thought, again, there's a notice from the city and then they're telling me, oh, your trash pickup is on Wednesday. I know it's on Wednesday, but y'all ain't picking it up. I'm not gonna bring that energy over here. So we're gonna cut it, cause you gotta cut it. You need to cut it, cut right. it, cut it. Oh! Friends and family, the red t-shirts went live for you guys. They're gonna probably sell out pretty quick. Regular drop is on the 29th we have coming. Oh, it's teddy.com. Everything that is dropping is on the website right now. You can kind of scroll. Yeah, that's coming on Saturday at noon, mountain time, which is two 
p.m. in New York, 11 a.m. in California. Ern's gotta leave town again here real soon for more Coheed stuff. I think I need to head to LA again actually to pick up a machine, a uh, piece of equipment. So I may be booking some appointments in LA, also booking some appointments in Denver prior to that. I'll make a post soon, pretty much what's going on. So I'm gonna go get this edit done, get a vlog up for you guys. Sorry for the delays. Busy! I think that's it. All right, love y'all. Peace! Feel the sand under our feet, some palm trees territory And we go walking down the coast And we go walk to the unknown